So if you're watching this because you can't find a speaking partner, you can't find a native, and it seems like no one wants to talk to you to help you practice your English. Well, I'm going to show you some tips today to help you practice your speaking skills without the need for a native or a speaking partner. Before we get started though, hello and welcome back to my channel Pronunciation with Emma. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. If you're interested in improving a British accent or pronunciation, or if you're just simply a big fan of the British accent and British English, said British a lot in that sentence, but anyway, if you're a fan and you want to do that, consider subscribing to my channel. I post every single Friday. I share new videos about pronunciation, grammar, mostly pronunciation though, hence the name of my channel, but grammar, vocabulary, some slang, different things, or simply just listening and some tips to help you with your English. So if all of that sounds like your cup of tea, just click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon as well to receive notifications every single time I post a new video or I go live. So anyway, you've clicked on this video, you can't find a speaking partner, blah blah blah, let's get started with the first thing. So the first thing you can do is practice singing songs. Now this sounds really obvious, but it really, really works. So you find a song that you like, find the lyrics, listen, get used to the song, get used to the lyrics, start reading them, follow the lyrics, and then start singing. This will help so much with your speaking confidence, with your fluency, because you'll have to sing quickly in order to keep up with the song. And it will also help with your pronunciation, because if you're mispronouncing things, or you're not pronouncing words correctly, then it's not gonna sound the same as the singer. So you can listen, you can follow what they're saying, and you can copy and sing along. Doing this will also help with grammar and vocabulary. So you are killing many birds with one stone. I maybe shouldn't say that because, uh, yeah, I don't even eat animals. <laughs> the second thing you can do is practice with dialogues. So you're probably thinking, but Emma, where do I find dialogues? Well, you've got access to YouTube and you've got access to the internet, hence how you're watching this video. So go on YouTube, have a look for some speakers that you like the the sound of, I mean, you like their accent, you like the way that they talk. Try and find some dialogues if you can, and pretend to be one of the people in that dialogue. So let's say you choose a TV show, let's say you choose, I don't know, Breaking Bad, okay? You choose Breaking Bad, and you find a very short scene between two of the characters. Put the subtitles on, and basically let them speak, listen to that scene, then go back to the beginning, play it, okay? And then pretend that you are the other person. So before the next person speaks, let person A speak, okay? Then when it's person B, you play the part of person B. So you pretend to speak and you read the subtitles and you pretend to be that person. Then you play, then person A speaks again. After that, you pause and you read the lines of person B. So it's almost like you're having a kind of dialogue with someone in the TV series, if that makes sense. But it will help a lot with just getting used to that turn taking, which is, is quite difficult to have when you are alone. You can't practice turn taking and you can't practice speaking with someone. So this is one way that you can practice that. What you can also do, if you want to go real hardcore, is play person one speaking, then don't pause it, but just mute the second person, okay? Just mute them, and then you need to try and speak at the same speed as the second person does, before person A speaks again. So you're not pausing and giving yourself time, you're actually just muting it so you can't hear that second person. But you've got to speak quickly, or you've got to speak the same speed as person B, otherwise person A is going to start talking already. So it will also help you develop that fluency as well. The final thing I want to suggest is role plays. Now, you don't need to find anyone to do role plays with. If you're not familiar with what a role play is, it's basically where you're just acting out a little scene. You're pretending that you are in a certain situation. Typically, you would do a role play with another person or different people, but you don't have anyone to practice with. So you're going to have to role play with yourself. 
So how do you do that? Well, you have the most powerful thing in the world. <laughs> Maybe not in the world, but you have a pretty full, pretty, pretty, pretty full? You have a pretty powerful thing in your head, and that is your brain. So you can imagine situations. What you can do is imagine that you are speaking to someone. So you can sit down, just imagine, you can do this literally anywhere. You don't have to speak out loud if you don't want to. This will just simply help you organize sentences and thoughts, and it will help you, help you, what am I thinking of? It will help you learn how to think in English, if that makes any sense. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, it will help you start thinking in English. That's what I mean. So as you're imagining these role plays, you're maybe imagining, okay, I'm going to imagine that I'm in a cafe and I'm going to ask for a coffee. Okay, so I imagine I'm in the cafe and I say, um, hello, may I have a coffee? And the waiter or waitress says, yes. Okay, great. Anything else? No, thank you. I'm imagining this in my head, okay? Then later, I think, hmm, how would I ask if they do soya milk? So maybe I don't know the word for soya milk. So I quickly check soya milk. What is that in English? Of course, you'll be thinking in your own language, but check what is soya milk? Okay, so I could then start practicing that sentence. Do you have any soya milk? Or, can I have a coffee with soya milk, please? And you start to practice thinking in English, and you start to learn new vocabulary. You're practicing it in a role-play situation, but it's all in your head. You don't even really need technology. You don't need someone else to do it. You just need to literally practice in your head. Now, I used to do this a lot, especially in very quiet situations, like when I was in the shower. <laughs> I'd be washing my hair, and I'd be imagining situations like in the bakery and I used to think to myself like okay um, una barra de pan okay I need to think barra de pan okay I need to barra and I would literally be washing my hair thinking barra barra and then I would speak because I wanted to practice that r sound and so on so it really really helped me organize things in my head it helped me kind of structure and have a, a kind of a transcript, like a template for when I went into those situations. So I knew what to expect, I knew what to ask for, and it really, really helped. So those are all my tips for today. I hope they've been helpful. Do let me know what you do to practice your speaking skills, especially if you don't have a partner and you don't have a native to talk to. Remember, you do not need a native speaker to talk to, I keep saying this all the time when I see people online asking, are there any native speakers here to practice with? You don't need a native speaker. You just need someone else who also wants to practice and you can practice together. Statistically speaking, you are more likely to speak to a non-native speaker in English than you are a native speaker. So would it not be more logical for you to speak with a non-native or start practicing with a non-native speaker than it would be a native? Of course you could argue, yeah, but Emma, the pronunciation, oh, but they're less likely to make mistakes if they're a native, oh, I'll uh, pick up the accent, blah, blah, blah. It's not true. I've had students and friends for many years who I speak to nearly every day. They speak to me because they want to practice their English, or, well, Hopefully it's because they like me as well, but they speak to me in English because they want to practice their English, yet their accent is still really strong. Or they have problems with understanding the humour, they have problems with understanding sarcasm, but things like that. So having a native speaker doesn't mean that you're going to absorb all these things. Breathing the same air as a native speaker is not going to make you fluent, is not going to make you fluent faster. That is the biggest misconception there is. So I'm just gonna say that and leave that there. It's just some food for thought. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next week for another lesson. Bye bye! or you're just a big fan of the British language, the British language.